Hello, welcome to Excel Fundamentals. Today we'll be learning how to create the average function in Excel. So I'm going to use the example of credit card bills. So I have lined up here five expense categories on my credit card bill and every month of 2015. And I want to know on average how much did I spend on gas in 2015 how much did I spend on dining in 2015 and so on so one way you could do this is if you added up everything in this column so in our in a previous video we learned how to sum in Excel so imagine if I summed up all of these numbers and then I divided these numbers by 12 months so divided by 12 and that would give me my average on average I spent $35.08 on gas in 2015 but believe it or not that's actually not the most efficient way to do an average in Excel a much quicker way to do an average is you can hit the equal sign and actually type in the word average and it's, it's the first function that pops up called average and you hit tab and now what you can do is just highlight the numbers in your column and hit enter and there's the average so for 2015 on average I spent thirty five dollars and eight cents on gas now I want to get my average for how much I spent on dining entertainment groceries and travel now again you can cal type in the formula again and again and again or you can just drag your formula across in the bottom right corner of your cell and it will copy over the formula and there it is so on average in 2015 I spent two hundred six dollars and forty two cents in a month on groceries and that's a pretty quick way to do averages in Excel something else I wanted to cover let's call this average is minimum and maximums minimum and maximums are two really cool tools you can do in Excel so the minimum would be out of a, com a range of numbers what is the smallest number in the range and maximum is out of a range of numbers what's the largest so the way you create that formula is you type in min there it is it's the first one hit tab and highlight the numbers twenty three dollars so and here it is it's in July so the least I spent on gas in a month was twenty three dollars and for maximum let's see forty seven dollars the most I spent in a month on gas was forty seven dollars and we see here it happened in December and in April and then what we can do like we did in the row above is you can actually highlight both and again grab the bottom right corner and drag it across and it performs your formula for you for both of these rows so yep there's the minimum and there's the max so that was a fun extra feature I wanted to show you on min and max now let's do an example of the average one more time this time we'll do it with with grades and we'll turn our table sideways so here are my four college classes let's say and in each class I have five exams and all the exams are worth the same so a quick way again to do your average is you can type in average highlight the five cells in your category and hit enter and now I can just copy this down by dragging the bottom right corner of the cell and there you go those are your averages for your classes and one other cool Excel trick that you can apply similar to what I showed you in the sum video was you don't necessarily have to calculate your average if you just want to eyeball the numbers so I could you could highlight your five numbers right here highlight them come down here and there's your average 87.8 like it shows us right down there and here is here it is when we calculated it and there you have it those are some cool tricks on eyeballing average doing the actual average formula and an introduction to min and max. Thanks for watching.